For this video, I'll be tying a braided wire caddis pooper size 14. This fly performs well in the water when it's caddis time. There are many various caddis pooper patterns available. However, I have found this pattern to have the color variation and balance that works for me on the water. Sizes 14 and 16 have been my most effective sizes. The various colors of this fly, but similar in hues, tints, and shade, I believe, add to its overall effectiveness. So let's get started. The materials used for this uh, tie today will be size 14, Dahichi 1130 hook. You can also use a TMCO 2487 or similar. Bronze crystal flash. Ultra wire, both in brassy and medium sizes. Peacock curl, a tungsten bead, silver, size 764. Thread, black beavis, size 16. Some organza material, sparkly white, and Hungarian partridge hackle. Here we have the finished fly. So we'll load it up with a size 14. Taihichi. 1130, put the tungsten bead on, we're going to run a bead of thread using a jam knot to secure the thread on the the hook, cut off the tag again, next we're going to separate some organza material, Kind of grab, rip out about three bunches of fibers. Gonna line them up as best we can here. and trim them off. Start by making a pinch wrap, making sure the material is staying on top of the hook. And we're going to wind it all the way down to the middle of the bend of the hook. Back up. Next, we're going to um, take off about six, seven inches of ultra wire. Perch, three different sizes. We're going to use chartreuse, green, and copper brown. Copper brown being the medium in size of the wire, and the other two colors will be brassy. The chartreuse in green will be braided on top of the shank while the copper brown will be on the bottom. We're going to even up the 
three pieces of wire, lay them on the top of the hook and secure it all the way down to the around the middle of the bend. Next, we're going to take some bronze crystal flash. And tie that on as well. We're going to wrap the crystal flash. around the shank all the way up to the bead. We're going to tie it off. and put a little bit of cement on there to secure the, the wraps. Now we're gonna do a few whip finishes and cut off the thread. Now we're ready to braid The abdomen and what we want to do is first stand up the three pieces of wire and take the wire that's going to be on the bottom which is the medium copper brown and we're going to run it underneath away from you and straight up and around the two pieces of of chatouche and green wire. Then back down and underneath shank of the hook. Then we're going to bring the two brass E size wires across and wrap down with the medium wire and then back across again top of the shank and bring the medium wire down underneath and back up and you continue with this braided pattern all the way up the shank through just about where the head of the fly We'll start. Now wrap a couple of wraps of the medium wire around the shank and helicopter the wire until it breaks off. Do the same with the two brassy wires
until the wires break off. What we want to do right now is put a little head cement up there where we tied off the wires and put our thread back on the fly. Using a, a jam knot again. Now we're going to bring up the organzer material. Get it all in. And lay it down with a couple of loose wraps. You can leave a couple of strands at the end of the tail and just nip them off. Take your bobbin and pick ever so gently and lift. and spread the strands of a ganser over the top and to the side of the fly. Now run a couple of tight wraps, bend the organza material back, the tag, and cut off the waste. Now we want to get a uh, Hungarian partridge feather. So, want to strip off the fluff. And fold the feathers down. So we create a Tag in. Tie that in at the head. A couple of secure wraps. Cut off the tag. That'd be our hackle pliers. Kind of wet and full back. The fibers as you come around. With the hackle. Now tie the hackle off over the stem. A few wraps, cut off the stem. Cut off a errant piece or two. Fold them back, a couple more wraps. And uh, spread them out a little bit. Now you want to get some peacock hurl. Two long fibers. You want to trim the tips off. and tie them in.
bring your thread back to the back of the uh, tungsten bead. Kind of rotate the two fibers together. Curl and rotate them on creating the head. Now tie off behind the bead, a couple of wraps behind, a couple of wraps in front, and cut off the excess curl. Get a hold of your whip finisher, three Start over here. Okay. One, two, three. Snug it a little bit. Get a little head cement. Put it on the thread. It's your whip finisher again. One, two, three. Snug it and trim off the thread. I'm going to reach down and cut some of the hackle off the bottom. Stroke the hackle back. Any errant fibers here? Need a little trimming. Here we have a braided wire caddis pupa. Finish fly. Thanks for watching.